From the News Channel 5 Network, this is Pharmacist On Call. Good evening, Nashville, Middle Tennessee, Southern Kentucky. Those of you out there in West Tennessee, welcome to Pharmacist On Call with your host, Dr. Sean Pruitt, your community pharmacist. And if you're watching this show, hey, we'd like to welcome you to another exciting forum. It's your one hour to talk about whatever you want to concerning your health. We understand that your doctors and your pharmacists are busy. They don't have time for this hour we do. So this is a service project, if you will. It's a community service offered by Pruitt's Discount Pharmacy to you, the viewer, and to get a one hour opportunity to speak with a pharmacist uninterrupted, a pharmacist who is interested in what you have to say. So call in. I uh, just wanted to give some shout outs uh, initially here. Wanted to shout out, actually, first of all, Jeff Campbell, who was the account exec uh, who worked with me at News Channel 5 Plus, and he informed me that he's going to uh, Greater Pastures. He is a big reason for what you see uh, here today. Uh, he kind of saw the vision of how this thing would shape. So I wanted to give Jeff his credit and to wish him well as he continues on. I uh, wanted to give a birthday shout out to my line brother uh, in Omega Psi Phi fraternity, Spring 89, my deuce, Clifford Aaron Greer. Those of you who know him well call him Akeen. So a happy birthday, Sands. And also uh, wanted to send out some condolences uh, to the families of Teresa Swenson and Timothy Drew and uh, certainly the families of another of my fraternity brothers, Dr. Gerald Bentley, uh, who passed roughly a month or so ago from ALS, uh, a fraternity brother and a colleague. He was a pharmacist as well. Uh, so wanted to certainly let those families know that they are in our thoughts and prayers. Uh, well, today, everyone, um, today we're gonna talk about a very serious, top very serious topic. It is a painful syndrome called sunken arches. Actually, I'm kidding. We are going to try and continue Marijuana Show Part 2. So if you are interested in discussing it, uh, call in with your testimonies if you are a person uh, who has used the medic, well, has used the herb to treat certain conditions where you could not get any relief from any other of the conventional medications. Uh, recreational use, not really the form for that today, perhaps another show, but we wanna see if this thing has any medical merit uh, as some of the states begin to think about whether or not they're going to legalize it for medical use. Uh, I see in the news today that Oregon itself has uh, today passed the law for recreational and medical use and they have joined Washington State and Colorado uh, who now have legalized uh, marijuana for recreational use. I believe it's up to a quarter of an ounce, seven grams for everyone 21 years and older who chooses to partake. Um, but let's see here. Well, let's talk about the show. Uh, the show here is your one hour forum. This sprang out of the open line segment of Ask the Pharmacist. Sprang out of the open line segment of Ask the Pharmacist and it went so well uh, because of your participation in your calls and uh, certainly your comments to the producers uh, that we now have this show that is focused solely on your questions and your comments. So we encourage you to call in. The producer's gonna flash the number up there. So make sure you call in with those health questions. And we've got a caller right now. So we're gonna go to Joseph on line one. Joseph, welcome to Pharmacist on Call. How may we help you? Yes, I was just trying to figure out about the big horn. Hello? Okay, all right. Well, I'm not sure what uh, was going on there. But again, and so the, the show, because of its popularity, because of uh, w the way that you all responded to it. So now we've been doing this a better part of a year and a half now. So we encourage you to call in with your questions, your comments. We recognize that you don't always get uh, the attention that you need to from your doctor. And certainly you're probably not made to feel as comfortable as you should uh, when you're trying to ask questions. And I know that pharmacies are so busy sometimes that you don't even get an opportunity to speak with the pharmacist. But, but this show is about you, so we're going to go to our second caller, who is Janet on line two. Janet, welcome to Pharmacist on Call. How may we help you? Thank you. Yes, ma'am. Uh, I have a medication, Patrizol, 40 milligram, that is taken uh, one tablet in the morning. Yes, ma'am. Is it supposed to be taken in a time frame before you eat? What? Spell the medication? P-A-N-E-O-P-R-A-Z-O-L-E. Mm -hmm. Take it before you eat. 40 
be milligrams. Yes, ma'am. It's pantoprazole, who, which is the generic for protonics. Yes. Uh, so for any of those of you who are suffering from acid reflux, this is um, uh, this reduces the, the symptoms of acid reflux. So, yeah, you want to take that before you actually eat. Is there a time frame, like 15, 20, 30 oh, minutes? 30 minutes before you eat. Yes, ma'am. Okay. Mm -hmm. That is not in the direction, the pharmacy that, that we use, Walgreens. Yes, ma'am. Uh, and, you know, I've been told that, but it should be in the instructions, right? Yes, ma'am. It should be. And it should be taken with a certain amount of water, like four ounces, eight ounces, or up. Yeah, yeah, because it helps to add to the uh, the alkalinity of the stomach, and it actually ties into if you've ever heard me discuss our alkaline water, uh, it is so strong that we have some people who have come off of their Prolisec, which is a, a brother sister drug to the Pantoprazole right. and so Meprazole. So yeah, you want to drink as much water as you can with it. Okay. Yes, ma'am. Thank you so much. Yes, ma'am. You're welcome. All right, and she's absolutely correct. Yes, a lot of times. Uh, we may neglect to put certain things in the direction. Uh, certainly that is important because uh, you don't already want to have stomach, fl stomach acid flaring up and then take the medication. You want to preempt it by taking the medication before you eat. Uh, so I'm going to encourage you patients to you know, call us on it, to hold us to task. Uh, you know, If there are questions that you have standing there at that pharmacy, ask questions like that. Those are things that you need to ask on the front end. In fact, uh, today is, well, yeah, beginning October is American Pharmacist Month, so now would be a good opportunity for you to, to have a good relationship with your pharmacist, at least introduce yourself, or certainly ask questions like those that you've wanted to, and just tell them Happy Pharmacist Month. It may make them smile. Okay, and wanted to give you a brief history about the store itself. So the store is Pruitt's Discount Pharmacy. We opened August 4th, 2012. Uh, so we've been doing this for the better part of three years. Now, as I was trying to think about what the theme of the pharmacy would be, I came across some research uh, that showed that there were roughly 100,000 uninsured Middle Tennesseans. So these were people who by and large had to pay the full price of medication. And in some instances, we had drug abandonment where the medication was so high that people weren't able to get it. So that, that causes a vicious cycle of repeatedly going to the ER until eventually you may not be able to get up and go to the ER, you may actually pass away. So we didn't want people to be passing away over drugs that could be made affordable. So our mission is to make medication affordable so that as many people as possible that can afford it can get the medication. So we've been doing that for the better part of three years. On top of discounting medication greatly so that it is more affordable and accessible, we also want to pride ourselves in improving customer service in the field of pharmacy. And I don't think there is a pharmacy in the city that can out customer service us. You can just ask my patients, they'll tell you. So we bend over backward, we, we go out of our way to be courteous, to be friendly, to be informative, uh, to offer alternative solutions. Uh, so. You know, we believe that customer service is a big piece of it. It's, it's actually business 101, is how you treat the people that you're serving. Uh, and the other piece that we did is we also, unlike other pharmacies, we want to encourage alternative methods of treating yourself. So what this does is it requires you to now learn so that you can take, your, take care of yourself. So that is part of the premise of this show here is to educate you so that you can take steps to prevent yourself from having to go to the doctor by either making lifestyle modifications, uh, dietary modifications, doing things such as increasing your alkaline water intake, eating more alkaline foods, avoiding certain things. So, so education, customer service, and certainly cutting the price of medication. This is what we, we kind of hang our hat on. So again, we've been doing this the better part of three years. And another piece of the store is the Kangen alkaline water store and you just heard me mention it to her. I opened the water store uh, roughly about three months after I opened the pharmacy but we will get into that once we come back from this commercial break so stay right there with your phone calls.